Hi, my name is Michael Thoma. I'm a technical marketing engineer in the Telepresence Business Unit. You're joining me today in San Jose, California, in one of our many Telepresence labs. I'm here to show you two of our newest Telepresence endpoints, the 1100 and the 1300. As you'll see, both these endpoints were specifically designed to allow collaboration in a multi-purpose environment. They're also committed to the Telepresence experience. That's quality, simplicity, and reliability. Behind me here is the 1300. If you can picture a 3000, take away those outside screens. What you have left is a single screen with three cameras on top. Now those three cameras separate the table into three separate segments, with up to two people in each segment. Unlike the 3000 though, only one of those cameras video streams is active at a time. And to determine which one we're using, we use voice activation. You might notice that the tabletop microphones are the same as those used in the 3000. Unlike the 3000 though, the tabletop mics don't determine which camera is active. For that, the 1300 actually has three additional positioning mics. These are placed above the display of the 1300. Now the reason we do this is simple. The 1300 is meant to be dropped into a customer's existing conference room. That makes the planning and the deployment much more flexible. That also means the 1300 doesn't ship with any furniture. The customer will be using their own table, and we're not exactly sure where they might put the tabletop microphones. By having the positioning microphones placed above the display, we can ensure the video switching is always reliable and consistent. Speaking of flexibility and deployment, the room I'm sitting in right now is 16 feet by 22 feet. For the 1300 and 1100, there are no room requirements. Now for the 3000, you have to get an RRA, a Room Readiness Assessment. Not so for the two new endpoints. There will be room recommendations, but no actual requirements. For the furniture itself, I'm using a 10 and a half foot long table. We've found that tables between 10 and 12 feet and 16 and 20 feet work the best. In my particular layout, we have four chairs on one side, facing the telepresence unit, and two chairs on the ends. Now during a telepresence call, the 1300 will be able to pick up these six people, switching from the three different segments. But when you're not in a telepresence call, you can still use a conference room and have people sit all the way around, seating up to 10 people. So this room is not a dedicated telepresence room. It's more of a multi-purpose conference room with telepresence capabilities added in. Well, now that I've covered the basics with you, I'd like to show you how the 1300 looks in an actual call. Thanks for joining. Uh, who do we have on the call? This is uh, James and Pani. We're here in the CTS 3200 room. I'm Minnie, and I'm calling from the CTS 1100. Oh, the 1100, that's one of our newer products. Uh, Minnie, can you talk a little bit more about the 1100? Sure thing, Mike. The CTS 1100 is identical to the CTS 1300, although it has one camera, so it's meant for two. And the, it also has identical LED lighting and the same product ID. Hey, Minnie, this is Jenny. Uh, what size room are you in? I'm in a 12 by 18. So it fits the CTS 1100 and a table for four. Great. Do we have uh, anyone else on the call? Sorry uh, to be arriving late. Uh, we are, I am sorry. I'm calling from the CTS uh, 3000 room. Uh, I am Ricardo. I'm here with my colleague, Ken. Oh, great. Thanks for joining, guys. Uh, quick question, uh, you're on a 3000, so that's a three screen system. Can you just explain what you're seeing in front of you right now? Sure, Mike. Uh, to the left, I see the 1100. To the right, I see the 3200. And on the center screen, I can see you on the 1300. Hey, Mike, I notice when I have a question. I notice when I see the 1300, all the switching seems to occur on the same screen. Can you ex explain that? It's a good observation, Ken. So the 1300, although it has three cameras, we're only using a single codec. And since the 1300 only uses a single codec, it uses a single video stream, which means it only requires two to five megs of bandwidth. Also remember, one of the three CTS 1300 cameras will be active, so you will see two of us live size on the screen. And positioning microphones provide voice active switching, just like your CTS, 13, um, CTS 3000, which will select which video feed to send. As we're talking back and forth here, you might notice a little bit of a delay between the switching. That's by design. It takes about a second and a half to two seconds. The reason for this is if somebody coughs or if the door slams in the background, you're not seeing this quick switching. 
What's important to realize is that the 1300 is the same telepresence experience, life-size people in a fully immersive meeting. Well, that's great. So if you have a presentation that you're showing during a meeting, where does it show up on a CTS 1300? Another good question, Ken. Let me plug in my laptop here, share some PowerPoint slides and show you. So if you're in a three screen system like your 3000, it'll pop up below your displays. If you're in a single screen system like the 1300 or the 1100, we'll actually see presentation and picture. Or we could have an external display if we'd like that. Thanks guys for uh, showing up for this meeting, showing off the 1100 and 1300. Really appreciate it. Have a good day, sure. Mike. Thanks. When not in a telepresence call, the 1300 can still be used for a general purpose meeting. Using a standard BGA cable plugged into a laptop, we can share content on the display. So now my team and I can go over these PowerPoint slides. The 1300 also comes equipped with three additional tabletop microphones. So even if you want to make a call to an endpoint that's not telepresence, you can still use the 1300 as an audio conference, and people all around the table can participate in the call. Let's go ahead and demonstrate that feature. Hello. Hey, Steve, this is Mike. I'm here with the team. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. hey there. We're uh, just going over some PowerPoint slides for the training next week, and I was curious if you'd finished your section yet. Actually, I did, and uh, last night I uploaded all of my slides to EDCS. Ah, terrific. All right, we'll probably pull those up next and go over them. Thanks, Steve. Oh, sure. The 1300 and 1100 come equipped with our new F11 displays. Like our CTS 500, these displays have two HDMI inputs. So we can use that secondary input to display whatever we want when not in a telepresence call. For instance, from the phone, I can go ahead and enable that interface, and we can watch the news on our 65-inch plasma. So there you have it, the 1300 and the 1100, our two newest products that we designed to be as flexible and multi-purpose as possible without sacrificing the telepresence experience. In the past few minutes, we've shown you the 1300 in a multi-point call. We've shown the ability to share content when not in a call. We've shown the additional microphones used for an audio conference. And we've shown that secondary HDMI input used so we can use the display to watch TV. Thank you for joining us today. Please keep an eye out in the future for more VODs. We have many new exciting products and features on the horizon.